Hello, eighth grade. Welcome back to another day of social studies. So on Monday you read and you watched a video about what was going on um, after Lincoln's assassination, what people were thinking about as far as reconstruction. You analyzed some art, um, looked to see what different people wanted to happen in the South as they tried to reintegrate with the rest of the country. Today we are really going to focus on freedom and what freedom meant to the newly freed black people in the South as the South reintegrated into the United States. So before we get started, I'd like you to just stop and think about what freedom means to you. What is freedom? What does it mean to you? What rights and responsibilities does it have in your life? So we know that in 1863, President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. And what that did was it freed the slaves in the southern states, which were seceding from the Union. It did not free the slaves, any slaves that were still left in the northern states, nor did it free any of the slaves in the border states. But any states in the southern states that were seceding from the Union were freed by the Emancipation Proclamation. In eight, January of 1865, Congress approved the 13th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. And what that amendment did was it freed all slaves everywhere in the United States. So that would include slaves that were in the northern states. There weren't that many states that still had slaves, but that would have also included any of the western states that were admitted to the Union with slavery that had not seceded. It would have freed any slaves in the border states and it also would have freed any states in the southern states at the end of the Civil War when those states rejoined the Union. For all intents and purposes, when the Civil War ended, slavery in the southern states ended with it. But officially, when those states rejoined the Union, slaver, the slaves were officially freed because the 13th Amendment ended all slavery everywhere in the United States, never to happen again. So suddenly, you have four million black people who have been freed. What does that mean to them? What kinds of things are they expecting? What kinds of things do they want? What kinds of things do people want to give them? What kinds of rights should they have? What kinds of rights are they expecting? That's what we're going to examine today. What exactly does freedom mean to them, and how are we going to define it for all of these newly freed people who have never been free before. We're gonna look at um, how some freed black people helped to free other black people. This is nothing new, it'll be a review. We're also going to look at some of their expectations. What did they expect? What did this mean to them? These newly freed people had many decisions they had to make. Some of them might seem to you like very simple decisions, but they were decisions they had to make. Number one, should they change their names? What were their names based on? Were their names, were they given names based on their parents? Or did they just get names based on their masters? If their names were based, their last names were based on their masters, should they keep those names? Or should they change them? Where should they live? Should they stay working on the plantation they've been working on if their former masters are gonna pay them? Or should they leave? What should they do? What kind of job should they get? If their masters want them to continue, are they gonna pay them a fair wage or are they gonna keep treating them the way they've been treating them? If they don't wanna stay there, where should they go? What skills do they have? Are they going to be able to find a job? What about their children? If their children were sold off to another plantation, are they going to be able to find them? What about their spouses? If their spouses were sold off to another plantation, is it possible they'll find them? There were all kinds of decisions to be made. Should they go get an education? Are they too old to get an education? They're just faced with many, many different decisions that have to be made, and they really have to decide, what does freedom mean? What does freedom look like? So these are the different things that we're going to look at today. So 
for your lesson today, here's what you'll be doing. You'll have a quick exit ticket just based on this short video I've done. When you're done with this, there is a facing history video that you will watch. Um, it's just about freedoms and defining freedoms and what, there are, what that means. There are some reflection questions after the video. Then I've included um, three short reading pieces. One is about changing your name. Should I change my name? Shouldn't I change my name? One is a letter that a freed slave wrote back to his master about, if you want me to come back and work on your plantation, these are my expectations for you as my employer. Notice I didn't say master, it's as my employer. So I want you to read that letter. It's really quite interesting. And then finally, there's also a very short reading from some slaves demanding an education. So you're going to read those three articles and then there's a reflection that you're gonna write on all three of them. You're not writing a reflection on each one, but after you read all three articles, I want you to reflect on them, reflect on all three in your reflection, okay? So, just a short exit ticket on my video. Watch the movie, it's a great movie, it's about 14 minutes. There are some questions after you watch the movie. Then you're going to read the three articles. They're really interesting. Um, I especially like the one where the freedman writes back to the master that if you want me to come back and work for you, these are my conditions. And then you're gonna write just a short reflection on all three articles after you've read the three articles. Um, when we come back next, when we come back on Friday, we're gonna look at what these freed people, the freed black people, what they were given kind of as a payment for all of their times as being a slave. So today we're looking at what is freedom, we're defining freedom for these people, and then on Friday we're looking at what they were given for being slaves now that they're finally freed. So have a great day and I will see you again on Friday.